Hello everyone and welcome back. <clears throat> My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be going over um, a couple of uh, molecular orbital diagrams where <clears throat> we are now looking at the heteronuclear diatomic molecules. And so you'll notice I have CN minus and I have NO and so you can see that they are heteronuclear meaning that they have two different atoms instead of having the same atom bonded uh, to each other. <clears throat> so um, in this regard, it's, everything is pretty much the same. You just have to know what uh, orbital diagram to use. And so we'll start with C and N. <clears throat> Both C and N uh, have the same uh, orbital diagram. So <clears throat> this is the one we're going to use for, for C N minus. So again, you're going to have to put the um, atoms on the side. So we'll make this one carbon and this one nitrogen. <clears throat> carbon has four valence electrons. Now notice that there's a, <clears throat> a negative sign that has an extra electron. Um, since nitrogen is the more electronegative atom, we'll give that one the extra electron. So this will be uh, N minus. And so this has four valence electrons. So one, two, and then three, four. So there's the um, uh, orbital diagram for carbon and then for N minus. This has five valence electrons plus one, so it's got six. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> okay, so um, now that we've got our uh, atomic orbital set up with their electrons, now all we need to do is add them to the molecular orbitals. So we have four on this side, six, that makes 10. So <clears throat> we will put them in, one, two, three, oops, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the uh, orbital diagram from for CN minus, and so you'll notice that um, all electrons are paired. So this is diamagnetic, no magnetic properties. And what is the bond order here? So for the bond order, so for CN minus. The bond order is going to be how many of uh, the electrons in bonding orbitals. So we have two, four, six, eight. So we have eight minus the ones in anti-bonding orbitals. So there's two. And so uh, eight minus two is six divided by two is three. So we have a bond order of three. So <clears throat> The, um, the number of bonds is going to be like that. So we got our negative <clears throat> sign there. Okay, and uh, we have something like that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we got uh, 8 and 10 there. So good. So that's our uh, Lewis dot structure for this. <clears throat> and... This is our orbital diagram for CN minus. Now, <clears throat> what about NO? So in order to do NO, we have to change our diagram. So this one, this orbital diagram is for you know boron, carbon, uh, nitrogen. <clears throat> so or uh, yeah, nitrogen. So um, since both carbon and nitrogen have the same um, order of the molecular orbitals, notice that the pi 2p is lower than the sigma 2p, but when you've got N and O together, you flip them because in this case, um, oxygen is more electronegative, so it's gonna probably, it's gonna contribute more. And oxygen's orbital diagram is where it's flipped. So if we change this, so now instead of having um, the two there, we're gonna have the 
pi to p here, and then below here we'll have the sigma to p. So this is the order of this uh, orbital diagram for NO. So now we can do NO. So we'll change this around. So we'll make this side N and this side O. And so N has five valence electrons. So we'll put a fifth one in there. And oxygen has six, so we can keep this the same. So now all we need to do is take the number here. We have five and we have six. That's 11. So we have an odd number of electrons. This is a free radical. So um, we'll fill in the electrons. So we have two here. We have one, two there. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven on top. So <clears throat> we have 100 electrons, so we would expect this to have magnetic properties because it's paramagnetic. And what about the bond order? So the bond order for um, NO uh, is going to be the same calculation. So number of electrons in bonding orbitals, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, minus the number in the antibonding orbitals, one, two, three. So minus three divided by two, and that's gonna give us 2.5 for a bonding order. So bond order is gonna be 2.5. So <clears throat> that is uh, how you calculate the bond order. So we have two and a half bonds for NO, and it's a free radical, <clears throat> okay? So again, that's how you uh, fill in your molecular orbital diagrams. Again, you have your atoms on the sides. Oops, you have your molecule. I forgot to write the molecule. NO would be here. So CN minus was here, and NO would be here as well. So your molecular orbital diagram is here in the middle. Your atomic uh, orbital diagrams are on the sides, and so they're mixing together. In the middle. And so <clears throat> the key thing here is you've got to know which orbital diagram order, which order you're going to be using. Are you going to be using where it's this way or are you going to be using it where it's flipped? And that just depends on the molecule you're given and um, which, if there's a difference between the two, then the, the more electronegative atom is, is going to take, take precedence. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you uh, enjoyed this, um, if you like this video, share the video, like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, um, and make a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and um, if you have any questions, what would you like me to answer. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.